Right folks, if you haven't already guessed, I'm currently in Sheffield. This is something completely different. I got an invite from Rab a few weeks ago to come down and visit their HQ to check out their spring summer sleeping bag collection for 2022. There's going to be a few other YouTubers there, some big channels and some small channels like myself, so it should be really good. But anyways, I'm going to head down for a pint, so I'll bring you back tomorrow. Cheers. Hey, this is the goodie bag. So this is the full-blown goodie bag. This is the recycled thing. Ah, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Cooler than the shopping bags I've got in the house anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So. All right, so we just had a debrief. Now we're going through to see the sleeping bags, I believe. And then we go down to the down factory as well, which should be good. Green air range of sleeping bags. It's been in our range for years and years and years, and it's occupied a sort of status of its own. It's lightweight, super packable for open air vivying up to 4,000 meters in the Alps. It's 850 fill power European goose down again. This year it's a it's 800 fill power European goose down correction. This year it's a recycling different design because it is just a fully sheet with that plating on. Cool. That's the other tilt. Yeah, that's the titanium tilt on the Andes, which looks slightly different. Nice. Um, so maybe in the future, I haven't seen what summer spring 23 holds. Right, we're just off to the down filling station now. It's like herding cats here. Yeah. Do you do any other like festivals this summer? Yeah. 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 All right, behind the scenes. Yeah, as you can see there, they've got the bags are down. That goes into these big machines here. This is very layman's terms, by the way. The computer there tells them when the baffles are finished, puts them in the box, and then they'll get sewn up over here. Quite an impressive setup. Yeah, I'm excited. So this here's the last stage, quality control and then packed, ready to go out to the retailer. After all the fun of getting covered in down fellers and filling up sleeping bags, we then got to go through to see the RAB service centre. This is where they do the stitch and repair, so you can send in your RAB garments for repair or the professional washing service where you can send in various items such as sleeping bags and jackets to get professionally washed. This is particularly handy if you don't have the time or you're too scared to wash your down products. Definitely useful. Well, this is us on the way to the campsite. The Motley crew. So RAB have supplied pretty much all of us with the RAB Alpine 600. It's a little bit heavier than what I'm used to, but it's good down to minus nine. So I'll get a good look at that later on. But we're just heading up to this little campsite first. Right, we're at the campsite. It's essentially just a field. <laughs> this is literally the quietest we've been all day. Everybody's putting up their tents. Concentration levels are up. <laughs> anyway, just about all of us are pitched.
This is where I trip and look like an idiot. I'm just fishing. So we're currently heading up the edge and if you follow this apparently it will take you all the way through to Stanage Edge which was where I'd done one of my first ever hikes when I was 15 years old on a big family day out <laughs> All right, somebody mentioned pub. That's where we're headed. Um, winter skills training people out there, all that kind of stuff. And then um, we're going to grab an athlete, an ambassador, and my. So it's probably the longest project idea. I think I've ever nothing in the realms of like doing a whole crane round or something like that. Eating, I do. Oh, good morning, campers. It is 25. They'll want this up in the next 10 minutes. <laughs> oh man, I'm sure. Right, let's go. Let's just get started. Oh. oh yeah. Right, we are just making our way back up to the edge and hopefully catch a sunrise. <laughs> There's no chance we're getting a sunrise this morning. It's just way too cloudy. It's nice though, we've, we've still got a view and uh, we've had a bit of breakfast and it's calm. Alright, we've uh, just done the group photo. I'm just going to press on along this ridge now and do this loop right round and back to the campsite. Right, that's us back at camp, right on cue of the rain, so that's handy. It's been a fantastic trip away. Uh, Rab, I think I said before, been fantastic. We got a good insight in how it operate, seeing the, the factory was absolutely brilliant as well, and having a, a shot to fill in the bags with the down as well. So yeah, it's been really good, met some cracking folk. And uh, aye, I'm going to wrap this up. If you watched this far, thanks very much, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>